Well, well, well. Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you, 27 November. It's been a while. I was in the, was in the States last week. Talking to the big dogs in New York. And doing some family business in Boston. Really an enjoyable trip. Uh, for... For those of you that don't spend too much time in New York, that city rips it, man. It's just one of those cities, right? It's like London, it's like Paris, Tokyo. You just can't, can't beat down New York. You can't, uh, these are cities that just never change the energy, uh, the vibrance. Real good time in New York, gotta say. And of course, it was good to see the big dogs. Uh, the big traders and the hedge fund guys, the big hedge fund guys there. A lot of them are old friends of mine, uh, watching them duke it out in, uh, in that scene was, was kind of fun. Anyway, now we're back here in our home, uh, Switzerland. A little bit slower paced. Uh, but uh, anyway, good times uh, in the States there. What are we talking about here? Oh yeah, we're uh, we're talking about ES here. Uh, obviously, last week while we were away, this sucker down a hundred handles from 27.50 down to 26.30 or so. We're gonna get a little bit of bounce here. We're accepting. We're gonna expect sort of sideways action here and uh, until Friday. Uh, I think the key sell area is gonna be between 2700 and 27.20. No dog in this fight. You saw on Twitter um, the guys in Paris. Uh, they think this is going to be a nice pivot here. This 27, 26, 73, 76 area. Prices above that, you can buy for a little trip higher. Take out some some weak shorts. Um, but for me, I got no dog in this fight. I'll, I'll be I'll be playing around if we. We see prices above 2700 today. Euros in a range, 1340. Not too much to say here. The Italian government was trying to kiss some ass in Europe yesterday, and so BTPs popped higher. Um, and Euro was moderately bid up to, up to 85. After a week off, we're just waiting on a lot of this stuff. Uh, Going to get a feel back for the market. Uh, literally did no trading at all last week. So, um, just quietly getting back into the swing of things. Taking some smaller risks. Trying to get a feel for things. Euro looks also quite range bound. Nothing really too excited. Nothing to get too excited about. Dollar Swiss, obviously, the same deal. Dollars are, uh, we're waiting for 1350 so we can sell our favorite sellable currency. Um, didn't quite get down there. Could easily turn here um, and head back up. But, you know, let's be honest, throw our biases out the window. This is in a downtrend here. Lower highs, kind of lower lows, sort of a sideways downtrend type deal. Got to be just patient. Uh, just be patient and wait. And we're going to be patient, looking for 1350 to short dollars are again. Dollar yen, kind of moving up towards the uh, top of the range now. If you if you if you look at this sort of take this line here. These highs here, down to here. This this is a, gonna be a very key moment when we get when we get to this trend line here. So gonna be very serious resistance the first time up here between 114 and 11450. A daily close above 11425. Dollar end could could get ahead of steam attack this 114.50 level. 
Not too many people are short dollar yen. No one's expecting this. Uh, we are not long now, but that was a pretty f powerful bar yesterday. Let me keep an eye on this top side, dollar yen. What else is out there? Aussie. Lower end of its recent range. A lot of uh, barking from Mr. Trump about uh, Chinese tariffs and whatnot. This will drive the Aussie market going forward. Obviously, this will crescendo at the end of the week, so keep an eye on this. If China and U.S. make friends, Aussie goes higher. If they continue to battle, Aussie goes lower. Aussie yen is the same. Same play. You can see we're right in the middle here. There's no real trade to be had. Yesterday, we went short dollar CAD. That didn't work. We hit the 12s, closed up at uh, 50. We're now at 50 now. We've just cut this. Um, you know, sort of just a week. We saw oil turn, and and uh, well, oil couldn't sustain prices above 52 bucks. And then euro kind of turned, and just a crappy call. So we're just cutting that, and uh, we will start fresh again this morning. I'm not sure what else to say out there. Bitcoin, that's a lot of fun, isn't it? Wow. i got to say, I think it's getting time to buy some Bitcoin. Um, we always talked about prices, you know, winding up into longs below 5000 Now's the time. It feels really, really awkward. And we've, we've kind of given up on Bitcoin, to be fair, um, for like the last three months. I mean, we love the idea, obviously, of the blockchain. Um, philosophically, and what this will do for just any financial market or instrument or currency. But we're also kind of now waiting for just the next generation of this. Um, Bitcoin and this first generation just seems a little bit stale never quite was able to achieve transactionally the speed and volume needed to become global but this is changing uh, slowly but surely one of the things I was reading uh, yesterday is this becomes a little bit of a self-fulfilling prophecy now in Bitcoin because if you're a miner, and obviously the, you, you know part of being a broad-based crypto community, you have to have a serious group of miners. These miners are getting fucked now, right? Because the amount of power they have to put out to solve these mathematical equations uh, costs a bomb. I guess with the exception of those guys in Iceland who get power for free. Um, and your reward now has been cut. So as the reward goes down, there's less incentive to solve these equations. If there's less incentive to solve these equations, there's going to be more miners who are leaving. And it's like this sort of vortex of, of uh, black hole scenario. That said, Bitcoin, uh, we don't think, can go away. So uh, it's time to put your big boy pants on in Bitcoin. 4100 if you haven't been there grab some here at 37 31 uh, 21 your stop has to be zero on this so size it appropriately um, wow look at that chart that was a break trade of all time really 5820 anyway I will uh, leave you guys with that not a very inspiring video this morning. Just getting my feet back under me. I will uh, I'll pop onto Twitter today and, and uh, let you guys know what we're thinking. And I will see you tomorrow. Have a good trading day. Ciao.